Hey, what's up Climber Nation? Patrick here. So this is footage from a big, ugly, spreading silver maple that I was in last summer and we were doing a bunch of trimming. Uh, most of it was on the one side, but there was a single large branch on the opposite side. So I'm just going to pause it there and set this up for you. So this is a three stem from the ground uh, spreading silver maple. Um, and the way that they grew, the stem that I'm in goes out this way and that's the stem that had about 95% of the work to be done on. The back stem goes out, out the back side, uh, and then the, the other stem goes the other way. So it's hard to tell on helmet cams, it's hard to tell angles and relative distance, but uh, basically there was no good high central tie-in point for this tree. So at this point in the climb, uh, I'm almost done. I've got all of the major stuff off of the side where I'm tied in. There is one decent sized branch on the other side that needs to be rigged and, uh, and taken off away from the house. Uh, so I'm, I'm deciding here, instead of struggling to, to fight my way over there, climbing, because again, there's no central tie-in, instead of that, I'm gonna try and set it up remotely and, and cut it with the pole saw, okay? So let's, let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so I have the, the rigging line here. I'm gonna tie my noose. Again, this is my favorite uh, throwing knot by far. Okay, tie my noose, tighten it up. And now I'm gonna pull a whole bunch of slack over to myself so I have something, something to, to throw. Um, this is how I normally throw the noose. I'll normally twist it around and throw it like overhand. Uh, so I, you can see I missed there. So here I'm going to do what I normally don't do and, and just do an underhand throw because I know I can hit it there. Okay, so I got it. And now what I have to do for this technique is to flick it all the way to the ground. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this before, but there's probably some people who haven't seen this. So this is just a basic technique for tying something remotely, getting, your, getting someone on the ground to tie it for you. Okay, so you need to throw it through your target target crotch flick it all the way to the ground like this uh, again there's lots of small branches that are getting in my way here um, so flick it all the way to the ground and then you're gonna pull enough slack from the opposite side for that side to reach the ground as well so you need a lot of rope okay give me a running bow you need to make sure that your rope is long enough to do this okay so I pulled the other side all the way to the ground as well and then I told my ground guy that I need a running bow this is Alex on the ground here so this is an absolutely essential skill for everyone who works on the ground to be able to tie a running bow. So he's tied it, nice. he's gonna run it up to that crotch, okay? So now it's tied off. Now he has to go to the other end of the rope and pull all of that slack back up and out of the system, okay? So hopefully you can tell what we're doing here. Right, so there you go. There you go. It's all set up. All right, pop this on the pole saw. It's tied off and he's taking the slack out, okay? So I'm just gonna drop down a little sling for him to put uh, onto the pole saw so that he can tie it onto my line. And I'm gonna pull it up. Um, so you can see he put the sling on the very bottom handle. That's not where I actually like it on the pole saw when I'm doing this. I like it on the main shaft of the pole saw in front of the handle on the gray, gray section there. It's more balanced and it, it works better for me in the, in the tree to snap it onto my harness so I can't drop it. You good? Okay, so fully extended, one button press. Again, like I said in the last video, like the, the battery pole saw has opened up a whole new world of options for me in the tree. Okay, so uh, undercut, top cut, boom, there you go. You can see the chimney on the house. That's why this branch had to be rigged. Okay. And then uh, while he's out of the way there, I'll just reach back across and uh, make a nice finishing cut on that stub. And you can see the, the wind really kicking up here. It's really super loud in the microphone on the camera. I had to turn the audio way down. Okay, so hopefully that made sense, that technique of, uh, of getting someone to tie something remotely on the ground for you, something that's out of reach. Um, and then hopefully you can see some of the benefits of, uh, 
Like I rarely use the, the pole saw in a tree, but sometimes it is really useful and it can save you time and energy, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you guys can get some value out of it. And uh, listen, I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for being here. And until next time, fist bump.